I'm Jim Lomier. I've been uh, the treasurer um, and chairman of the Clue and Clyde Judo Club over the last uh, 35 years. Cloran means in Gaelic thistle and Kwai means the way. So it's uh, the way of the thistle. So it's a bit of a mouthful with Japanese and Gaelic. My dad came, um, he was at, worked at the Glazer Metal and there was quite a few members at the Glazer Metal and uh, it was a ball bearing factory. And um, he came along and started and he brought me when I was six. I used to sit and watch him uh, training with some British champions at the time. And, and then he started me around about six, seven years old and that was it. Well, I was very short-sighted at that time, so judo was just ideal because I didn't have to see it to do things. I just had to grab for <laughs> Started this, uh, the, the hub, uh, which is uh, the rugby club, the weightlifting club, the gymnastics, ourselves, cricket, football and athletics. There's a lot of potential for building new buildings and, um, and using this area and cross-training between the sports. I don't know if you know, but there's a lot of... Um, the All Blacks do judo um, uh, during their close season, so um, I think it's good for their rugby, so maybe the rest should, should look into it as well. I've trained at this, this judo club for five years and Jim's been an inspiration as a coach and as a friend. He's had a, a massive impact in Ayrshire and Kilmarnock because he, he's kept the club running for so long and attracts new people to the club bring the kids on as well as the seniors. There's nobody else puts more time into the club. It's really, it's amazing. He pushes the rest of us to go through our coaching badges so that we can then help him when he's on the match so he actually can get a break and then again go and play golf. He's willing us to go and learn different stuff and pick up for different coaches and he's always willing to listen and take anyone. If it wasn't for Jim, this place probably wouldn't still be running just now. I mean, it does happen for the club. We're lucky that we just got a grant from Sports Scotland Direct Club Investment Grant to employ Louise Rennick to go into the schools and do development and feed people down here so we're looking at trying to double and then quadruple the membership through Louise's um, efforts. Even I know within judo there's so many people put so much time into it that I didn't really think that it was on so it's really a huge surprise but a great honour, yes.